Okay, so today's lesson is about factoring perfect square trinomials. Just get my panning hand. Okay, so if you look at these two forms, you've probably saw these in grade eight, right? Now they have a specific form. I'll draw the picture of the first one to give you an idea of why it looks like this. The second one, the second one, I'll show you a little bit later when we have more time, okay? Okay, so for the first one, if you have a square, I don't know if you've been shown this way last year, but if you have a square and we divide into four parts, now the length of each side, so this length here is A, A here, and this length is B. Okay, so this length here is A plus B. Now down this side, or this side, let's do that side. You've got A here and you have B here. Okay, we'll put a plus there. Now, if you multiply these two numbers, A plus B times A plus B, which is A plus B squared, you'll get the area. That's the area of this whole square here, the complete square, okay? That would be the area. But if you think about the area of each part, this is A times A. So the area of this square here would be A squared. All right. And then this one here would be A, A times B. So this area here would be AB. And the same here. This is A, this is B. So the area of this square here is AB again, or BA, same. And the area of this square is B times B, which is B squared. So this area is equal to the sum of these four squares. So that would be A squared plus AB plus AB plus B squared. So that gives you A squared plus 2AB plus b squared and that's your formula there okay so visually that's how you can think about it using what they call tiles tiles or squares okay but the second one i'll talk about more about that one next week but it's the same idea and if you want to check you've got a plus b times a plus b which is a plus b all squared if we expand, you'll get A squared times AB times BA times BB, which is B squared. So you see you'll get the same. A squared plus 2AB plus B squared, because AB and BA are the same, right? Just swapped around. For the second one, you can check the same way. A minus B times A minus B, which is A times A, A squared, A times minus B, minus AB, minus B times A, minus BA, minus B times minus B, plus B squared. Remember to change the sign, you have two negatives. So A squared minus two AB plus B squared. And that's your second rule here. So they're called trinomials because you have three. And tri means three, okay? And perfect square because you actually have a square, not a rectangle. So for example, later on when we do quadratics, you may have X plus two times x plus three. This is not a perfect square because if you think about your picture, you have on the first one, x plus two, and this is x plus three. 
So this two and this three will make it a rectangle. Okay, it's not a perfect square, but we're gonna talk more about that chapter four and five. <clears throat> so I'll erase this out. That's just showing you where the formulas come from. But the second one, I'll talk more about the diagram for this one later. So let's clean that out. So if you see something like, uh, for example, if you had a question x squared plus 8x plus 25. Now, what you're looking for is one of these two forms. Okay. You see you've got a plus here. 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 So let's look at one. Is it the same as this? What you need to look at now is that this is a square. You have x squared. This number is 25, which is five squared, okay? So the middle number needs to be two times a times b. So it needs to be two times a, a is x, isn't it, you see? X is this number. So two times X times, and B is this number here, which will be five. So I'll put a five in there. Now these need to be equal. So if I check that X squared plus 10 X plus 25. Okay, you can see this is not a perfect square because we ended up with 10 here and, oh, Serenia, teacher, do you have the file of this lesson? I can't see it in the group. Did I send this yesterday? Um, I'll send it when I'm finished talking, I'll put back into the line group, okay? So yeah, just wait a little bit. You can copy some notes and I'll, I think I sent it yesterday, but I'll, if I haven't, I will, send it when I'm finished talking now, okay? So just let me finish this bit and then I'll go and send it in line, okay? So just give me a second. So what I was saying is that this here, this expression here is not a perfect square. Not this one, because the number you should have gotten is 10 not eight. Okay, so for another example, well, let's do one of the examples here anyway. So I'll clean up the board a bit. Just to make it clear. Okay, so you've got to be careful, like all of these ones in the in this sheet are perfect squares. But if this middle number doesn't match, it's not so for example, when you're doing these examples, the first thing you do, the first number, you make it a square. So T squared is already a square. The next thing you do is make the last number a square. Four is two squared. Okay, they have to be able to square, all right? If they can't, then you, this, it's not a perfect square trinomial. So the first thing you do, you square the first number, and then you square the second number. T squared is already a square. So what you do then is you write your T squared and then you see this form is minus. So we're interested in this form. So A minus B squared is A squared minus two AB plus B squared. So if this is minus, this is minus as well. The last one is always plus, okay? Because it's squaring the number. So it'll always be plus. So A minus B all squared is A squared minus two AB plus B squared. Okay, we have the first number, which is A squared. And then we write minus two A. And in this case, that was T. And then look at the second number, the B. 
So the second number is two. So I put a two here, and then this is two squared. So what it is, I'll use a different pen. T goes here, okay? And then the two goes there, like that. So then you end up with T squared, minus 4t plus 4, which is good. That's what you got. So that means you can write it in this form, a minus b all squared. So t minus 2 all squared. OK, but you must get minus 4 here. So in this next question, you'll pick it up when we're doing it. So what I do. I will write down this as, okay, well, the first term is x squared already, good. It's a square, which we need. The second number is 36, so that is 6 squared. We need to check that this will be minus 12x in the middle. So we'll go x squared, and we have a negative, so we write negative. Then you must write 2, because that's part of the formula. 2, then we write the first part, which was x. Then we write the second part, which is 6. And then we write the last term, which was 6 squared. So we need to check that this is minus 12. Is it? Yes, you can see it is, which is good. So I'll just write it fully. x squared minus 2 times six, which is 12. Okay, I'll rub that out. Draw that again. Two times six, which is minus 12x. I'm just rewriting the question, plus 36. So which is the same as x minus, minus, and the last term, six, all squared. So what you should find is that this number here, is here and this number is here like that so in the third one we've got 4x squared so you need to remember this rule a b m can be separated as a m b m a and b and m are just numbers so for 4x squared, I want to change that to be 2x all squared, like that. 2 squared is 4, x squared is x squared. Everything in the bracket must be squared, just like I did here. AM and BM. You may have seen that in grade 8. Okay, the middle term. So what I'm doing now, I'll do it a little bit quicker. So I've got 2x squared and I have a plus so you put plus here and then I write two every time then I write this term here 2x and then I write nine which is three squared and then I'll put three here and I'll put three squared on the end so you need to check that this number is the same as this number here so when you're doing these on the sheet today, I want you to add this line in. Don't just write the, the final answer because you need to check this middle term is correct. All right, so it looks okay. Look at it, a squared plus two ab plus b squared, which is a plus b all squared. So I can just write the formula underneath. You're probably bored, some of you, but anyway, it will help some student who are a bit slow with this. Okay, so you've got a squared plus 2ab plus b squared equals a plus b all squared. So it follows the correct pattern. 2ab, a is 2x and b is 3. b is 3 and here a is 2x. So your final answer is there. That's your perfect square. So if you're copying, you can write that quickly. I'll leave a bit of time.
How about this one? So now we've got x squared. So this is already a square, no problem. X squared. Now this one is 64y squared. So that would become 8y all squared because 8 squared is 64, y squared is y squared. So we need to check this middle number is correct or not. So we write it out, we've got x squared, use the sign you've got here, which is negative or minus. And then I write two because that's in the formula. Then I'll write x again. And then the last one here I write is eight y. Put in eight y plus eight y all squared. So just check they all match up. You've got your X, which gets written here. And this term will give you the 8Y all squared. And then you write that in here. So just check this. Is this minus 16Y, 16XY? So minus 2 times 8 is minus 16. Good. And you've got XY. Good. So this is the correct answer. So then we would write X, use the same sign, minus, and the last term, A, Y, all squared. That's your answer there. Okay. So I'll scroll up a little bit. We'll do one more, and then I, or a couple, two more. All right. So if you think you know what you're doing, why don't you try this yourself? Um, you don't have to listen to me, just try and do it yourself. But if you're not sure still, keep listening. So we've got 9x squared and we have 4. So the 9x squared, we need to break that down as 3x all squared. Remember, that's just the same as 3x times 3x, which is 9x squared. And then the last term is four, so that's two squared. And we need to put the middle part in. So we have three X all squared. Your sign is plus, so we use plus. Then you write two, then you write A, which is three X. And then we write the last term, which is gonna be this number here, two. Two, and then that number squared. So two threes are six, two sixes are 12. So this is good, this is okay. We get 12 X in the middle. I'll show you one that doesn't work in a minute. So then we have this number going here and three X goes there. So I want to see this middle line here when you're doing your worksheet, when I ask for the homework. Okay, so that final answer then would be a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is a plus b all squared. So if you multiply this out, you can check your answer that way. Okay. What about the next one? Looks a bit hard because you've got an x plus 3. But isn't it just done the same way? So this, would, this is already a square. So let's write it down. Actually, this is from your grade eight book, if I remember. So if you go back and look in your grade eight book, that will help you review as well. In, I think in the last chapter, because I have a copy on my computer. All right, so that's X plus three squared. This is 16, which is four squared. So we need to check this middle term here. So we've got X plus three all squared. We have a plus, so we write plus. Then I write two, then I write the first term, which is A, which is X plus three. The next one I write is four. So I'll put four here and I square that number at the end. So this number goes here, this number goes here. And the middle term was 8x plus 3. That's going to be good, isn't it? Because 2 times 4 is 8x plus 3. So it's correct. 
So we'd write that as x plus three plus four all squared. And you can see you can simplify that to x plus seven all squared like that. So if you expand this and you expand this, you'll end up with the same answer. Okay, for that one there. Um, it's 826. Now, one question that wouldn't work, I showed you before. So if I said um, x squared plus 3x plus 16, can you write it in this form? A plus B all squared. Now, if you look at that, you think you can't do it because I've got x squared, no problem. Then I've got four squared here, but then I need to check this middle term. And I know the formula for this is two AB. So plus two times A times B. You're gonna get eight X, not three X. Do you see that? So this would give you, so X squared plus eight X plus 16 is x plus four all squared. You're gonna get that. You need eight. So this here is not a perfect square trinomial. You cannot, you cannot get it in this form, it's impossible. I don't give you many like this, but you may see one in a quiz. Um, so don't just jump to this step. So don't just do this and this and then think it's correct. You need to check this middle term is correct or not. And 3x is not right. It would have to be 8x for it to be correct. All right. So is there any questions at this time? Wow, there's a lot of questions here. So like yesterday, we may cut out half of them. So let's, unless you're very fast, then you can go back. So do the yellow ones here. I'll start you off in a minute. Uh, let's see those two, that one and that one. Yeah, let's do that one. So they're going to take you a while. Some of those are a bit harder because they involve fractions, but the idea is the same. Okay, so for question one, I'll come back. Okay, I'll go up to there so you can still see it. So if you have a notebook, just write them in your notebook. If you have tablet, write it on there. So your first one, this is what I want you to, what I want to see in the homework sheet. So you've got X squared plus 14X plus 49. Okay, what you should do here, I'll come back, I'll scroll back in a minute. So this is X squared, good. It's already a square. 49 needs to be made a square. So that would have to be seven squared. And so now I need to check this number is okay. So I would have X squared, then you write two because the formula involves two. Then I write the next term. So write your X in there. And then I write the last term, which is seven. That goes in there. And then I square that number like that. So you just check that two times seven is 14. And it is. So you, yeah, we need to just check that is okay. And it's okay, it's 14, isn't it? So once you've done this line here, then you write your final answer, X plus seven all squared. And that's your answer. So don't just jump to here. I wanna see the second step in your homework because you need to be checking this middle term. And in the test, you may, it may not be correct. So you'll have to actually check it's in the correct form. So your answer there is that. So they're, they're the two steps. So there's only two steps to this question, okay? So I'm gonna give you time to work and I'll be quiet. If you have a question, you can ask. And then just do the yellow ones if you do finish. You can try some of these harder ones here, because if you're fast, you probably can do it well already. All right, so I'll be quiet for a while.
and you can work for a while. Um, so B here, I'll do a few, you can watch or keep working. You've got X squared plus six X plus nine. So what you should write first is X squared. Notice your sign is plus, so we write plus, and then you write two every time. And then I'll write this term, which is X. And then I notice that nine is three squared. So then I write three, and then I square that number. So X is here, three is here, and two times three is six. So this will be correct, it is a perfect square. And then you write the first term, which is X, and you write the second term, which is three, like that, finished. That's your answer. And if you expand it, you can check your answer is correct or not. Okay, that's B. C I'll do here. M squared plus 10M plus 25. It's just review for most of you, I think. But if it's something that you forgot, it's a good idea to pick it up now because we use these ideas when we do the chapter from the book. So then I would write that as M squared plus two times M. And the last term is 25, so that's five squared. So I'll put a five in here and then I'll write five squared on the end. So just check your form, M squared plus two, five M plus five squared. Check your middle term, two times five is 10, good. So if it's not the same, we can't use this method. So we got 10 there. So then write your perfect square, M plus the last term is five, all squared, right down the bottom there. So I'll scroll up a little bit so we can see some others. Okay, I won't do them all, but we'll just use up the time. Let's see how our time goes. I'll erase those ones. I think those are straightforward. Okay, question G. The others you can use for review for yourself. So for G, 49X squared plus 28X plus four. So just look at the first and last term, we make them perfect squares. So seven X all squared, and that would be two squared. And they're the numbers that go into here. So seven X all squared plus two times seven X times the last number, which was two plus the last number squared. And check you got it all in x7, x7, x, 2, 2. So they're all there. So 2 times 7 is 14. 14 times 2 is 28. Good. So you got the middle number. So this middle term must equal this middle term. If not, it's not a perfect square. So then your final answer is 7x plus the last number, which is 2, all squared. So that's one thing to remember. So this term goes here and this last number goes there, okay? Um, H is the same. What about I? Let's do I. So I is 25 X squared plus 60 X Y plus 36 Y squared. So this is looking okay, looks like it'll work. <coughs> okay, so the first term, make it a perfect square, five X all squared. The last term is 36 Y squared. So that's six Y all squared. And we need to check the middle number is correct. So put them in, five X all squared. We have a plus, so we write plus, then we write two, then we write the first term, which is five X. Then we write the last term, which is six Y. 
and then we square the last term, 6y squared. So the question is, is that the same as that, 60? Two fives are 10, six tens are 60. So that equals 60xy, which is good because it's the same as the middle term, which means it is a perfect square. So then the middle term, uh, the first term is 5x. The last term is 6y, all squared like that. Okay, so remember the first term goes here, the second term goes here. This middle term, you can't see it, it's inside, all right? So some students get a bit confused with this, but that middle term is actually inside this perfect square, it's, you can't see it anymore. So first term, second term, all squared, like that. What about S? P is like the one I showed earlier, but S, let's do S. 4M6N6. Hmm. Don't get too confused. 32M4N4. M4N4. 64M squared N squared. N squared. That's an interesting one because it's got power six, but you can still change this. Now, one thing to remember, A, M, N is A, M times N, multiply. So multiply the powers in this case. So we can actually split this up to a square. We want something squared, okay, because the formula is asking for power two. So that must be M three because two times three is six, right? And N6 will be N3, two threes are six here. The middle term, we'll leave that, we'll check. So this must be something squared as well. 64, so it must be eight. Eight squared is 64, MN, because they're actually power one. Two ones are two, two ones are two. But remember with, Power one, we never write it. So we'll just take that out. Not needed power one. Every number has power one, but we never write it, do we? Okay, so the middle term, I need a bit of space. So I'll write it here. So plus, write down your two, then write down the first term, two m cubed n cubed, then write down the last term, 8mn. So I'm checking that these are the same. Two twos are four. Four eights are 32, yes. M3, M, we made it power one. And when you have this form, we add the power. So three plus one, four. Three plus one, four. So that's another rule to remember. AM times AN you add the powers, A, M plus N. So these two rules are quite useful. So it looks good, all right? So then the last step will be write the final answer. So two M cubed, N cubed, I might highlight those. So this one and this one here, they will go here. So that would be two, m cubed n cubed we have a plus so we use plus and the last term 8 mn all squared so that should be your final answer that can be simplified um yeah i can actually do this uh i should have done this a little bit differently but anyway um that that's okay you can leave it at that point um, what I should have done, actually, I didn't look at my answer key when I'm doing this. So hmm, if you look in here, we got a couple of minutes. You've got two, you've got an M and an N here. So actually, you've got two M, N. 
as a common denominator. This would be m squared plus n squared. So I multiply. Wait. Yeah, I should have factorized right at the start of the question, but I didn't anyway. M squared, N squared plus four all squared. Now this is probably a bit complicated, but you can write this down. I'll leave it up for a minute. Okay, now you see what I did here. I realized I've got MN, MN, and I've got two and eight. I've got common factors in even inside this bracket here. So I factorized out the two MN, but now I don't want this square bracket, right? So now I'm gonna square this two MN using this power here. So it's two MN squared times M squared N squared plus four squared. I'm using the rule A squared B squared equals a, B squared, that's all I'm doing here. So this squared, so this term squared, this term squared, I just separated it. So that gives you four M squared, N squared, M squared, N squared plus four all squared. That's better. But I won't wrong, mark you wrong on the test if you do that, that's, that's okay as well. But this is just a bit nicer because I factorized again. All right. But you won't see too many questions like that, just on and off. That's a bit of a hard one. Okay, I think our time is up. So just want to fix my power too. Yeah, so don't get lost on that last question. It's not that important. But I'll leave it there for you to copy and because on the answer key, I didn't do the full working. I just basically gave the answers for the complete squares.